All right, let's uh, see what we got here with Jupyter. I just installed Python 3.8 for a project I'm doing. And uh, this is Jupyter running for the first time under it. And I saw a Jupyter 4 version available message on my other machine. So I figured I'd do a screen capture here uh, to see if that message pops up. And I'd answer yes to it. Okay, yeah, let's... Uh, a newer version do not check for updates open change log so what do I do open change log 4.0 Jupiter 4 is released maintenance and improvements so is it just automatically Jupiter 4 maybe it is let's take a look help about Jupiter lab no, I'm still on 3.6. So uh, let's quit out of that and go into the terminal. And uh, I guess uh, sudo, no, it's not sudo, it's pip uh, install uh, hyphen u for upgrade, j u p y t r hyphen lab, I think. I can double check that. No. Let's see. CD drink me. Vim requirements. Jupiter. There it is. Jupiter Lab is one word. No hyphen. Let's see if it gets an update. It says already uh, requirements satisfied. Who? I do not think this is. Uh, Oh, but you have Jupyter Lab 4. Look at that. Oh, the spell check requires 7.3. That's fine. You know what? I'll take the spell check out for now. Then requirements. It's much more important to me to have the latest Jupyter Lab uh, than it is to have the uh, spell check. So I scrolled right over it. I think you can comment with that. I don't know. I just put it back in later. Jupyter Lab 4, but no spell check. All right, check back with me soon. If you guys are following along with Drink Me, man, this is a great time to join in because it is very polished. I know there's a lot of gobbledygook here, but I should really show you the install sometime. But I wanted to capture that moment because Jupyter 4. Oh, do I check? Right now I go in here and I, uh, I check. But I just do a pip uh, install hyphen r for this stuff. You can see I was doing a little work with uh, fixing some keys on some you know, deblogging stuff. It's definitely not the subject of this post, but it's fine for you to see that. It still says version 3.6. So maybe I gotta quit it. So for anyone who's following along and if it's stuck in memory after an upgrade, uh, one of the differences with my way of installing Jupyter and everyone else's is you can just see it, right? There's Jupyter right there and I can just do screen uh, reattach to Jupyter and then I can just control C out of it. Yeah, quit it, right? It's gonna force quit. And if I do a screen LS again, you'll see it's not there, it's not there. And then it's there again because it's a service. It's a Linux systemd service and it just pops back up. So. Let's now go back over here, pull up Jupyter Lab, and see if uh, if it's a new version. That'd be awesome. It was just because it was stuck in memory when the upgrade occurred. Whoops. And there it is, Jupyter 4.0. Yeah. All right, join me soon, and I'll dive into the uh, wonderful new whatevers of uh, Jupyter 4.0, an incremented number on Jupyter Lab. That's a big deal.